morning. It's kind of a cloudy overcast day today. Back here walking through the woods on our property. Uh, I'm going to cross the old stone wall here. Watch out boy, come on. My dog's in the way, as he usually likes to do. <laughs> um, have this old stone, looks like an old stone foundation here or something. This old stone wall. But how did they get that huge big rock up on top? I have no idea. Don't know how old this wall is, but it's New England is famous for old stone walls. And um, this whole property has stone walls on it. Uh, old stone walls, this could have been used as a pasture or something. Um, I have no idea. I've shown these in other videos. Let me turn this around a little bit so you can see the stone wall. See how it goes that way? And you can see how big that birch tree is that's growing kind of out of the stone wall. So it had to have been here for a little while to have that huge tree grow out of it like that. And we've tapped that tree before for birch sap which is a very good medicinal thing to do. Birch sap has a lot of healing properties in it and everything else, and it tastes pretty good, actually. It's just like drinking water that's got a little bit of sweetness to it. Not quite the same as uh, maple syrup or anything. But um, the subject for the video here this morning is... Don't know right, right now. I don't really know what to call the video, but uh, don't get distracted by this Trump, you know, assassination thing and this presidential selection thing. Um, saw a video a while back where there was a little girl and she did a report for school where she traced the genealogy of all the different presidents and all but one president in American history, I forget which one it was, but all but one of the presidents, um, they're all related somehow. Second or third cousins or fourth or fifth cousins or whatever. But it's all basically um, essentially one family that uh, all the descendants were you know, chosen as presidents here in America. Now that's either a spiritual thing that happened or it's chosen that way, to be that way, where we don't really have a choice here in America. And, um, you know, I've said this before, but uh, it seems kind of strange, kind of peculiar that out of all the people here in America, all we have to choose for presidential material is an old man that's obviously got some mental health issues, Joe Biden, or a actor who can divide the country named Donald Trump. That's the only choice that we have. There's nothing else that we can do. Nobody else is qualified to lead the nation. Um, we've been lied to about a lot here. But I was thinking about this whole thing of this, all this uh, assassination stuff and whatever, and I thought, okay, what's one of the primary rules that you always have to remember? If they're getting, the, the media is doing some big thing, there's going to be lots of coverage. I remember the one report I saw and the guy said, I think going forward there's going to be lots of coverage of this. <laughs> I'm sure. And why? Why do they do that? Because they're trying to cover up for some event that's actually happening that's of true significance. You know, I mean, what could be something like that? Well, I don't know, maybe, you know, if, hypothetically speaking, of course, um, there would be another country, there'd be a war going on, and the war's not going very good for our country, so they have to kind of distract people's attention. And the country that's there, that's uh, defeating our nation, if they, were, if they would have had something, say, I don't know, hypothetically speaking, like nuclear weapons pointed at our nation, um, you know, and the threat of using those nuclear weapons is becoming more real by the day because of our government scheming. Um, you know, 
I mean, maybe, just maybe, they would use the news media to distract people's attention onto something that doesn't even matter. Maybe. Of course, I'm being sarcastic here. Uh, that's exactly what's going on. Um, I saw a thing yesterday where uh, the Times of India, I think it was, said that Russia had its best day yet, uh, worst day for Ukraine, and um, there were 1,900 Ukrainian soldiers killed in one day. Uh, that's a lot. You know, I think I heard a report not long ago where it was in six days, I think there was 14,000 Ukrainian soldiers killed. Uh, you see, the reality of the war that's going on in Ukraine right now is that um, Russia sent in basically volunteer troops. They didn't, didn't send in their, their actual military um, when they you know, did the invasion thing here two years ago, back in 2022, February I think it was, 2022, Russia just sent in a volunteer unit. And um, I remember seeing a, uh, a thing, um, there was a channel, a uh, real reporter, Constantine is the guy that runs that, and he was going around interviewing some of these young men and they were going off to this thing in, U in Ukraine and they weren't soldiers. One young guy was a lawyer and um, signing up to go and to this war. And, you know, Russia just kind of thought, well, we can take care of this pretty quickly. And um, they didn't take care of it very quickly. It's lasted for a while because the West has been interfering. And now what's changed is when um, they went over there and Zelensky said, hey, we're going to have, uh, uh, we'll sign this 10-year deal thing with Joe Biden. Then the Russians said, hmm, okay, I think maybe we better get serious about this. And so then they sent in uh, their regular military. And from what I understand, I think it's somewhere around 800,000 Russian uh, soldiers now sent to Ukraine. And they're, they're going to be upping the battle and fighting a lot harder. And uh, bad news for Ukraine. Very bad news for Ukraine. And these Ukrainian soldiers that are left are just being decimated. They're just being slaughtered by the Russians. And, you know, oh, the Russians are so evil and so terrible. I've talked about that before. Um, you can make arguments back and forth, whatever. doesn't matter. But um, you don't want to have NATO, um, the Western New World Order, uh, building, you know, nuclear weapons and things and other types of missile systems right beside you. Um, again, the fighting that goes on between the East and the West. The East says, uh, no, we're not for this. We're not going to just let you come in here and put your missile systems in. Well, that's understandable. That just makes sense. But uh, so Russia has a right to go in there and say, hey, you know what? We don't, we have to get this NATO stuff out of here. That's just common sense. It doesn't mean I'm for everything that Russia does and I'm, you know, a Putin lover or some kind of thing, Russian special agent or, you know, no, not at all. I'm just saying America should not be entangled in all these different foreign affairs. We're not supposed to do that. And I've never been for these, all these foreign wars and everything else. It's stupid. It's destroying, you know, American people. It's destroying us you know, not only the soldiers, but also the American people themselves that are going over there and um, dying for, or excuse me, the American people themselves that are having to pay for this. And that's why we have such a huge national debt. Russia barely has any debt. America has massive debt. Uh, I don't exactly like my future being destroyed by these wars of aggression that the globalists are fighting. So... Back to, to back to the bugs out here. Try to get out here early enough that the, to avoid them, but they're yet not usually too bad back here in this part of the property. But <clears throat> this whole thing of Donald Trump, what is going on with Donald Trump? 
and this assassination and now they're going to be back and forth and they're you know and I've heard this uh, uh, Alex Stein guy this papist and he comes out and he says oh you know we're one we were one centimeter away from total civil war if, if Donald Trump had been assassinated you know conservatives would have went out on the streets and it would have been instant civil war uh, I don't think so <laughs> I think that's a stupid thing to say I don't believe for one minute that it would have been civil war that conservative people it have been oh look at that Trump got killed okay um, and people would have just gone about their daily lives and whatever else I think that's what have, what would have happened this oh no there would have been civil war why would people go out and start going to war and fighting because this guy got shot I realize that there are some people that really worship Trump I get it you know but to start a civil war over it you know oh the actor got shot and whatever there uh, no I don't think so um, if there's a civil war started it will be the left that does it I'll guarantee that they'll go and they'll start burning buildings down and destroying people's homes and attacking people and whatever else uh, that's how it will start because the left has been radicalized now to the point where they are no longer tolerant of other people it's not so with conservatives I mean there are some that are that stupid but um, it's not quite the same but you know but hey they're going to just continue to promote Trump I mean now he's the, um, you know, the the new gospel here I was thinking about that and uh, you know put your faith in Donald Trump because he shed his precious blood uh, <laughs> and uh, on the stage to pay for the sins of America or something and and um, he's your Lord he's your Savior now and and Trump can make America great again uh, they're covering up for some things they are covering up, covering up for the fact that America is not coming back America is a nation that is finished economically how do you get America back let's make America great again okay how how are you going to do that oh well you see um, we can have him come in and he can lower interest rates he'll lower interest rates so that people can go out and borrow and the their borrowing you know costs are lower now and you know praise hallelujah Trump the Savior has uh, has you know lowered interest rates so we can all you know increase our debt and our spending um, well you know I'd like to point out the fact uh, to all you people out there that think that Trump is your Lord and Savior um, spider webs on my hand uh, to all you people that think that way um, I'd like to point out the fact that it was Donald Trump that did quantitative easing or that it was done under his regime I'll say it that way Donald Trump um, was the one who printed huge amounts of money which put our nation into more debt um, and oh and then he lies about it and he says oh it's the best economy ever you know under my presidency we had the best economy ever in American history uh, if it's the best economy you don't print money all right um, you know you get somebody and they say uh, that they're uh, had to borrow a whole bunch of money or something like this and, and they say you say why'd you borrow so much money because I've never been richer <laughs> uh, no <laughs> doesn't work that way if you have lots of money you don't uh, there goes my dog acting crazy if you have lots of money you don't need to borrow money mm -hmm. if you're doing well economically you don't borrow money all right common sense here people and Trump is also the one I'd like to remind people out there if you're patriotic and whatever Trump is also the one that was going to institute martial law to forcibly inject people with experimental drugs emergency use authorization do you remember that do you just kind of forgot that part the great patriot Donald Trump and he's going to forcibly inject people oh okay well that's uh nothing wrong there nothing to see here folks you know operation warp speed 
we're going to get out there and and uh, do this whole thing. Um, what about that? What about all the freedoms and loss of liberty that happened from 2020 onward for a few years? What about that? Who instituted it? Who started it? Well, Joe, it was under Joe Biden, but who started it? Trump. And um, if you understand the reality of things, you'll understand that Donald Trump was trained by the Jesuits. The Jesuits that are a military order of Roman Catholics and that uh, do you know, whatever they can to destroy nations. Jesuits that have been kicked out of countries. Jesuits that have been banned by their own Catholic Church. Back in the 1800s, one pope disbanded the Jesuits because they're such evil, vile people. And their, their goals and their aims, anything is possible. They'll do whatever they have to do to achieve their goals. But, you know, we'll just, we'll not think about that. That's Trump, uh, no, he's a good man. He's going to do good things for the country. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. You see, the reality of it is, um, the Bible is true. The Bible is your only source of truth. The King James Bible in the English speaking world. That's your source of truth out there. And um, everything else is deception out there. And of course, you know, you have to have somebody that's born again, a preacher that's born again, to rightly divide the scriptures. And I get real sick and tired of people coming along and just, you know, well, you don't understand. And, you know, you don't understand what about the thief on the cross? What about John Nelson Darby? What about... Um, and they come up with all these arguments, and I, and I say, well, you know, I've already done studies on that, uh, you know, eight years ago. Well, if there's a rapture, that'd be a third coming. Because then it would be a second, then you'd have the second coming be the third coming, so it doesn't make any sense. I have a video on that, you know, eight years ago, um, nine years ago. I've already preached about these things. What about Hebrews 10.25, not forsaking the assembling? I already have a study. Okay, um, I've put in the, the years to preach and teach the Word of God on YouTube for free. It's all there. Going through the scriptures. Turn in your Bible. I will show you. Oh, uh, I don't think you know what you're talking about. Uh, I know very well what I'm talking about. Well, I don't agree with your stand. You're a gatekeeper for the nation of Israel. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have all the studies. Debunking replacement theology. Debunking all the Holocaust denial stuff and everything else. I've done the study. I've done the research for many years. So, you know, all you have to do is just use the search feature here on YouTube. And you can go out there and you can search on my channel. Type in keywords or just simply in humility say, uh, Brian, do you have a study on whatever? I try to get back to people. I try to post links to people that have questions. Uh, I can't get to everybody, okay? It's a big channel with lots of, um, a good amount of subscribers, real subscribers. I'm not uh, falsely inflating my numbers like others on YouTube here, which I've rebuked publicly, and I will rebuke once more. Robert Breaker and Gene Kim both, fa both falsely inflate their numbers, which is illegal. You're not supposed to do that on YouTube, and um, but they've done it. I've asked them to show proof that they have even reached 100,000 subscribers. In reality, you know, where's your silver play button? They won't take me up on my challenge. Um, the Bible says that you're to provide things honest in the sight of all men. Well, Denlinger is just a troublemaker. Uh, uh, whatever. Okay, I'm just a troublemaker. Uh, prove me wrong. Shouldn't be too hard, but they refuse to do it because I'm right. And, uh, oh, but they're, they're good teachers. They're, they're your brothers in Christ. No, they're not. If you're lying about the number of subscribers that you have, you're not my brother in Christ. Very simple. So, sorry to go off on a big tangent there, but I just get sick and tired of these people that come along faking that they're Bible believers when they're not. So, um, you're going to be distracted a lot as America is falling. They don't want you to prepare for it. They don't want you to be prepared mentally 
or spiritually, uh, physically. They don't want you to prepare. You say, well, how do we prepare, Brian? Well, those videos are on my channel as well. Um, I've shown people how to, uh, I did a whole seminar on off-grid living, how to be out here and what to do and things. I really need to clear some of these branches, make a trail through here. But, um, ugh, spider webs in the face. Good way to wake up in the morning, I guess. <laughs> Nothing like spider webs in, on your face to wake up as the deer flies are swarming my microphone. That's, you know, it's something that you have to learn. I, I remember hearing a thing years ago. Uh, this guy said that, um, he said it takes nine years to get to know a property. And I thought, that is ridiculous. That's, there's no way. Nine years to know a property? He was right. Um, why? Because when you move out to the countryside, every year is different. You have a different winter. You'll have different summers. Sometimes you have a dry summer. Sometimes you have a really wet summer. Sometime, sometimes it's just really good. It rains and, and that's sunny and it's nice and whatever. Uh, you move to the north like this, you'll have years where you get lots of mosquitoes. You have years where, and barely any deer flies. You have years where there's barely any mosquitoes and lots of deer flies. You know, and it's just, every year's different. Some years you'll go and there'll be wild edibles everywhere and you do really good and you can really save up, you know, wild blueberries, wild raspberries, which we have all of that here. Um, and then you have other years where you go out and barely anything. Um, and that's just, that's life. You have to understand these things. You know, this might appear like a, a good place to build right in here on under these trees like a little tiny house or something clear out some of these trees obviously couldn't there's not enough room to build something but it looks nice and dry the ground's pretty level in here but then you can have rain and oh i, I didn't realize it kind of pulls up in here or something you have to learn these things um again you know i can't go off on a big tangent here on the whole thing of how to live off grid and whatever else that'll be another uh how to get out of debt that's going to be another video that i have but um the thing of distraction as i get distracted myself <laughs> by lots of things out here uh it's going to be lots of media events lots of things that they're going to do to get your attention away from where it needs to be um we have the BRICS nations are over half the world's population. Currently, who's, mem who's a member of BRICS? Again, there's going to be more countries joining in October. They're going to be doing more stuff against the dollar in October. Um, we're facing some really wild times, brethren. Some very wild times. And, uh, you know, the, the thing to do, like I said in my, I think my last video, um, when you look at the world changing, you have to find something that doesn't change. The word of God does not change. And again, I have studies on the Mandela effect that was made up by a witch from Hollywood. The whole thing, the Bible hasn't changed, okay? I have Bibles that are, you know, 200 year old Bibles in my collection. They read the same as the modern King James Bible. Um, there's no change. You know, all special magic that happened that changed those two. Okay, you're entered into idiocy when you get into that stuff. Um, but uh, focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. Do what you can to sanctify sin out of your life and wickedness. Um, give the Lord a reason to preserve your life. Okay. Uh, you need, you know, sanctification is what I'm talking about there. But um, this... All this Trump stuff and whatever else. Um, the big issue right now, I would say, for America is the war in Ukraine. The war that uh, Ukraine is losing very badly. And America needs, as I showed in another video, America needs those uh, rare earth minerals. 
it's all about power and and we want to have the minerals and so we can produce things and whatever else and we can mine that and things that's what it's about don't forget it all right so i'll put some videos here at the end link to some videos and uh different studies again these studies or these walk and talk things just coming out here into god's creation i need this for my health it's good for a lot of you to hear the birds singing you like it a lot of people have been saying that they really like the these videos that's why i'm doing these videos but the real big theological studies are linked at the end you can watch the different studies um, go to my channel like i said to the search thing and type in different keywords house church um, hebrews 10 25 uh, baptist i have studies on the baptist movement the the fake thing that it is and whatever else there's major problems with the baptists um, type in anything i have the secondary channel uh, you can go there too i do link to that occasionally go there and you can subscribe there again i'm not monetized so um, your views i do appreciate your views i do appreciate your subscriptions but it's not something that i make money off of like a lot of people do on youtube so but that will be it for this video i'm going to end it here as i'm having more losing more blood that one got me there on the finger pinky finger um smashed him actually and he had blood in him so probably my blood or my dog's blood <laughs> but that will be it again thank you very much for watching stand by the word of god uh, oh thou who changest not abide with me the old hymn abide with me look that up uh, do a search for abide with me and listen to that hymn it's beautiful and um stand by the word of god stand by the lord jesus christ all right see you in the next video